When I was a little girl, my father and I would stargaze the night sky. He would teach me basic astronomy to look up basic constellations and such, and tell me stories about these people living on those distant planets. And when I grew up, maybe I could go meet them. Well, now I can tell you, he is a little concerned that I seem to have taken his words quite seriously. Hello, everyone. My name is Afshin Khan. I'm a budding astrobiologist, and I'm one of those people who believes that if you don't find the aliens, become the aliens. Become the aliens for Mars. So what do we do when we get to Mars? Well, you take a selfie. Yeah, do that, because I can tell you that would be an epic selfie. Selfies apart, my friends always ask me this question. Why Mars? Why are you so obsessed with Mars? Don't you like us? Don't you love this planet? Why do you want to go away? And I'm sure down in history, every explorer was asked this question by his or her friends. Why do they want to sail west? Columbus, why do you want to get away? Don't you love us? Well, the question, the answer to that question was and is still the same for the drive of humanity to explore newer frontiers, for that sense of adventure, to push humanity forward. And in case of Mars, well, I love this planet and I love human beings, and I would like to make Homo sapiens a multi-planet species. The advancements that would come from this endeavor is going to create breakthrough technologies in medical science, in food production, in solar power, and whatnot. So that's why Mars. This is another concept of what completely closed and sustainable habitats are going to look like in future human colonies on Mars. They are quite like the interconnected domes that you see on the International Space Station with their water recycling, their smart energy grids, and the greenhouses. That is where my focus is. I became interested in developing crops for Mars about three years ago when I was involved in this research at the German Aerospace Center in Berlin, we tested lichens from Antarctica, Plepsodium chlorophanum, in a Martian simulation chamber under Martian simulated Martian conditions and a soil mix that we believe to be the composition of Martian soil. And we saw amazing results. These lichens ad adapted to niche Martian conditions and s were photosynthesizing, which got me thinking that the first step towards making any planet remotely habitable for humans is to grow plants there. Because plants oxygenate our environment. Plants are really good at doing that. And Mars does not have enough oxygen. So if you're going to send human beings there, it's really important that you start to grow plants. You start with the greenhouses enclosed with crops. But for crops on Mars, we may have to rethink a lot of aspects because Mars doesn't have the same conditions as we have here on Earth. So some of the things that I have set out to explore is to how to develop crops in nutrient deficient soil, in scarcity of water, and other essentials that we need to grow viable crops. Of course, this involves a lot of experimentation with plants and seeds on the International Space Station, which has been going on for quite some time. And we have seen very interesting results of how we can select certain traits in seeds and develop crops that are really resistant to droughts and other special qualities. Also, certain programs like the High Seas Mission, where they explore regenerative systems for deeper sta space travel, have found some really interesting results. They found recently that growing plants not only has its benefits in terms of nutrition, but it also is helpful to keep astronauts that are living in enclosed spaces for long periods of time stress-free and free from depression. So that's really cool. One of my favorite projects, the Lunar Plant Growth Habitat Project. This is NASA Ames' newest endeavor to grow plants on the moon for future moon colonies um, where astronauts could depend on crops there for their diet. Uh, this, of course, is the first big step towards growing plants in extraterrestrial environment. So I'm really excited about this project. Colonization of Mars is humankind's biggest endeavor in the 21st century. It's going to require the effort of thousands to millions of people to achieve this successfully. 
While the aerospace companies are developing better and more efficient rockets and propulsion systems, we must also be thinking about not thought about before engineered systems for producing food and energy, recycling waste and water. On a barren planet with very thin atmosphere, rich in carbon dioxide, with very high cosmic radiation, and about one third of our usual gravity. Mars is gonna require risk takers. Mars is gonna require innovators. Mars is gonna require calculative risk takers. Mars is gonna require you. Which is why I wanted to share this idea with you here. This dream of growing a plant where no man has ever grown before. It's a vision, a compelling image of an achievable future. So after you've taken a selfie, maybe think about growing a plant on Mars. Thank you.